Today, we're shooting a commercial for Razor's Razor Blade 17. I'll be walking through my entire behind the scenes process from start to finish and showcase exactly how I'm able to bring this commercial to life. The majority of this commercial will be filmed at home with a black background, green neon lights, and a ton of fog. We started the shoot off with a handful of probe lens shots, which helped us capture some really creative angles. The last probe lens shot looked really good, so we're moving on to a few more probe lens shots. This next one I'm really excited about. We put the probe lens on sideways and we're just gonna do a nice pan by all of the ports. So this next shot is kind of a little bit tricky. We're trying to kind of create a desk here. We don't want to use the wood desk, so we're using some V-flat boards. What makes this part tricky is that it's part of a transition and it will be the second half of the transition. The first shot, I will be at a coffee shop. And once I've opened up the laptop halfway, it's going to switch into this scene, which is going to be a dark night scene. And we switch the screen to just pure white so it lights up my face nice and bright. So whenever I open up the laptop, it'll go from daytime to nighttime. Two, one, go. We filmed this shot quite a few times at slightly different Two, angles to make sure one. we had one that matched identically to the second shot. Then we headed to the coffee shop to wrap up the second half of the transition. We also captured a few intro shots to help our story flow a bit better. So the coffee shop scenes turned out great. We just tested out the transition and it ended up looking just about flawless. So super stoked with that. This next shot is going to be so dope. I'm so excited for this one. We just went out to the store and bought some fishing line. We got the darkest color that we possibly could. This is like a dark green. So on a dark black background, it should just look invisible. We tied it to the Razor Blade 17 and to the other end of this C stand. And you guessed it, we are going to lift it up and do some floating scenes. We'll probably use another one of these nan lights, light up the background green, spray some fog in the background and kind of just give the Razor Blade 17 a little twist like that. This is probably one of my favorite shots for this entire video. This is one of the first shots that I actually thought of. So I think it's gonna look pretty epic. So let's do it. So in order to pull off the shot, we're going to need to mask out the fishing line. We thought the fishing line would be dark enough that we could just light the scene properly and that it would just blend into the background and disappear. But unfortunately, we really can't find a great way to light it without this bottom section at least showing up a little bit. It looks like it's floating in the vlog camera, but unfortunately on our main camera, you can clearly see the fishing line. We've tried many different ways to light it. So we're gonna move to plan B, which is just light up the bottom with fog and try to shoot the scene before where the fog reaches the top of the laptop. That way we can still mask out the top half as there won't be any fog up there anyway. So I think the lighting is all set up, so let's go ahead and get started. Take two, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so that last shot looked really good, but we forgot to turn on the Razer logo on the front screen. It just looks so much better when that logo is bright green, just glowing in the shot, especially in a darker scene like this, which by the way, is extremely difficult to open this up and get the logo on. See, you just put a finger mark, Aww. fingerprint mark. Yep, I told you it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Go, keep going, keep going, stop. Okay, so we're scrolling through the footage now. This shot looks absolutely incredible. I feel like it looks even better than I anticipated in my head. We were just messing around and we tried turning the video upside down and I actually really like how it looks with the fog coming in from the top and having it darker at the bottom. So I think we might do this for the final cut is flip it upside down. And that way the fishing line is also a little bit easier to mask out as it won't be in the viewer's line of sight nearly as much as it would if it was on the top half of the image. Sweet, so let's move on to the next shot, which is going to be a Lazy Susan shot where we put the laptop on top of the Lazy Susan and it'll have it spinning around. We'll probably cover the ground in some more fog and some cool green neon lighting. And whenever we use this attachment, it gives a really cool looking fog when it's on the ground, just like this. It kind of, kind of stays on the surfaces and it looks really cool. Thank you. 
So that shot actually went very, very smoothly. It looked really good and I think we're ready to move on to, well, I think that's actually just about it. I think we're just gonna get a few more filler scenes, just green smoke with the black background. These shots are nice to have if you wanna overlay text to kind of showcase all the awesome specs that this Razer Blade 17 has. It's quite the computer and as sleek as it is on the outside, the majority of the things that make this computer great are on the inside. So text overlays are gonna be a great way for us to kind of showcase what is going on inside this computer as we all know that it just looks incredible from the outside and feels incredible. Editing the commercial was super smooth on the Razer Blade 17, even with our 4K slow motion footage. I also edited our fishing line scene in Adobe After Effects, which ran great as well. NVIDIA's GPU accelerated encode NVE and C helps speed up the layering of many effects and provides up to five times faster export speeds. So that is a wrap on the commercial. Make sure to check out Razer in the description box below. It literally feels incredible to work on. It's just a powerhouse of a computer. Again, thank you Razer for sponsoring this video. Video. This has honestly been probably one of the most fun commercials that I've ever had a chance to make. I probably breathed in a little bit too much fog for this video. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> but I think it was well worth it for the shots we got. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe for new videos every single week. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Peace.